Stay. Finally have something other than Coke today. Okay. Root beer. Root beer, I feel like root beer is kind of underrated, not gonna lie. Like it's not my first choice, but I would settle for it. But anyways, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be watching Game of Thrones season six episode. Episode four. God damn it, dude. You know what's stupid? This tripod, right? The leg is fucking broken on it, okay? So that's why it always falls over. Okay, if you're wondering, but guess what? The reason why I haven't bought a fucking another one, just another tripod, is because they don't sell them separately. You have to buy the mic with it too. It disconnected, and I lied. We're not on season four. Uh, we're not. Holy fuck. Everything's just falling apart right now. Oh my god. Why is this not turning? Dude, I swear to God. Ah, uh, no! It's bent. It's bent. Yeah. You can't even tell, but... What? 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 It's bad. Oh my. All good. I have a backup. All good. Fuck. Okay, okay. The reason why I can't just buy a new goddamn tripod to this this mic is because they sell the, they don't sell them separately. I have to buy an entirely brand new mic if I want the same tripod. And it's just like like why? Like why? Like I don't need I don't want to pay two hundred dollars just for the tripod okay okay it's okay it's good it's fine it's fine it's fine okay i am i'm also wrong in, in the intro we are on season six episode five we're on episode five okay in the last episode ramsey sent them a letter at council black to the night's watch to Jon snow saying look dog i have your little brother okay you want him give us sansa you know, he's sending a threat. He's like, if you don't give us Sansa, I'm killing your brother. I'm coming there to the Night's Watch. I'm killing everyone and I'm taking Sansa back. He said a bunch of other awful things, how he's going to like make him watch or whatever and tear his eyes out and shit like that. So, but you know what? You know what that means? That just means a bet, Ramsey. Fucking bet. Now, I don't know what we're going to do about this, but Peter Baelish in the Veil vale might come through a little bit. They, might, I'm hoping they do. I... You know, that scene they had in the very beginning of the last episode where he's talking to Robin. He's like, yeah, you know your cousin Sansa? Let's go help her out. And Robin was like, okay, I have to. He was, you know, he's like, fine, I'll go help her. Like, he didn't say that, but that was kind of his attitude. Like, he didn't give a fuck. But Baelish was just like, come on, bro, we have to. So, okay, I don't know how much help that's really going to be. But it's better than nothing. It's better than 50 Night's Watchmen. Whatever the Veil can provide, cool we'll fucking take it okay and then on the other side of the world Daenerys just took over the Dothraki she got a squad of a hundred thousand now on top of her Unsullied which the Unsullied I'm pretty sure were like 75 ish 100 ish Unsullied with her people in her army okay obviously not everybody in the Dothraki can fight like take away take away all the old people take away the women and children <sighs> I'm conservatively, I'm gonna say you have, factoring in that, conservatively, you probably have 30 to 40K. 30, at le yeah, at least 30K, maybe more. I get, maybe we'll get an exact number in the show, but we're taking over everyone. It's over, for, it's over, it's over, it's official. It's over, she won. But there's another war coming, which, with the White Walkers, and we haven't seen them in a minute, so kind of hoping they pop. Well, the biggest feud right now is Ramsey and John. That's the biggest storyline going on right now. The White Walkers might not pop up in this season. They might come a little bit later. They might pop in more in season seven, I feel like. Like, I feel like they're gonna focus on John and Ramsey here the most. 
Dude, oh my god. Imagine John and Ramsey are about to fight. Like, they're gonna have this big ass battle. And then the White Walkers come in with all the whites and just wax them. Like, that would be so fucking. That honestly could, that could probably happen. Okay, but anyways, I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that'll be available on Patreon as well. Early access to the next two episodes of Game of Thrones will also be available on Patreon. So, let's get started. Okay, who is this from? How far is Mole's town? Oh, it's from Baelish, never mind. Sansa. Lady Brienne. What do you want? When I heard you'd escape Winterfell, I feared the worst. You have no idea how happy I am. Mm. I rode north with the Knights of the Vale to come to your aid. They're mm -hmm. encamped at Moat Caelan as we speak. To come to my aid? Did you know about Ramsay? Yep. If you didn't know, you're an idiot. If you did know, you're my enemy. Yep. I can't begin to contemplate. What do you think he did to me? Mm hmm. Lady Sansa asked you a question. Mm hmm. I can still feel what he did in my body standing here right now. Sorry. <sighs> you said you would protect me. And I will. You must believe me when I tell you that I will. I don't believe you. I don't trust you, bro. Mm -hmm. You won't even be able to protect yourself if I tell Brienne to cut you down. Yes. Yeah, a... You want me to beg for my life? If that's what you want, I will. What if I want you to die here and now? Mm. Then I will die. You freed me from the monsters who murdered my family. Mm -hmm. And you gave me to other monsters who murdered my family. Yep. Go back to Mount Caelan. My brother and I will take back the North on our own. I never want to see you again. I would do anything. <sighs> would you allow me to say one more thing before I go? No. Your great uncle, Brendan, the Blackfish, has gathered what remains of the Tully forces and retaken River Run. Mm. The time may come when you need an army loyal to you. I have an army. Your brother's army. I got a big B. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we could probably we could use them for sure. Good for Sansa for pressing him like that. Like, ah. yeah, he fucked over pretty hard. I wouldn't have been mad if he died right there, but I would have been a little bit. A little, a little hurt just because I do like his scheming and everything and how he just plays everyone, but in that in that situation, it's like it's pretty justified if Sansa had him killed right there. I think. But now we don't have the villain on our side to help us out, but we do have her, a half brother at River Run right now, so I, I guess it might be a setup by Baelish. I don't know. He might have realized, oh shit, yeah, she's about, she hates me. I, I'm just gonna send her there as a trap, you know? Maybe, maybe. But you never know what Baelish is really trying to do, so. Could have been capping. Could have just tried to set them up and have them killed. I would have missed him. That was a cool. That was. Oh. Alright, how are you gonna do that kick up? Kip up? She, you have a style she doesn't and still lose. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god, bro, this bitch has hands. You'll never be one of us, oh. Lady Stark. Bro, bro, Arya has heart, though. She'll never go up. She has a point. Mm -hmm. They're just putting her through the most adversity ever to get her to break, but she never will. An actress who calls herself Lady Crane. Mm -hmm. She performs at the theater in Shilba Square, but has been given a second chance. Yeah, don't fuck. Oh. There will not be a third. Yeah, you fucked up the first one for a good reason, but get the job done this time. Oh, murdered by a ball. Oh, they're making fun of Robert. Damn. Bed, you must lie. Oh. I love That's Joffrey. Don't die. Shut Ooh. up, you swine. Cersei, more wine. If only Robert actually did that. Ooh. Ooh. Bro, how are you going to do Ned like that? Fellow in the land, you should be king of us all. And oh, that guy was in the Joker movie. The dude's playing Tyrion. Will you stay on as Joffrey's hand? The Iron Thrones, what I demand. You cannot. I can't. You will. <sighs> I will. You dare not. I dare, yes. But we had a deal. All done and dusted. Mm. I'm starting to think you can't be trusted. <laughs> Yeah, I can't fucking believe this shit. 
should be. Good people, you may all relax. My father's friend shall be spared this. Huh? Mm. <laughs> bro, this, ah, bro, this sucks for Arya, dude. This is giving her fucking PTSD. I mean, that's a good summary of what happened. Good refresher for me. <laughs> First season in a nutshell. <laughs> Hey, do the part where... What the fuck? Okay. 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 Okay, that was a very unexpected cut. Alright. Okay. That caught me off guard. Not even gonna lie. Um. Hey, do the part in the play where Stannis attacked us in the Battle of the Blackwater and Joffrey was a fucking bitch about it. Do that part. Do that. Hey, do Marge and Joffrey's wedding too. I want to see that. <laughs> hmm. Yep. She seems like a decent woman. Nah. Does death only come for the wicked and leave the decent behind? Who wants her dead? That does not matter. The price was paid. Yeah. The girl must decide if she wants to serve the many-faced god. Oh. The girl has decided. A servant does not ask questions. No! 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 Uh, is that turned into white white walker? Oh, this bitch is right here. Oh, it was you. Yeah, it was you. You made the white walkers. Yep. We we're being slaughtered. Our sacred trees cut down. We needed to defend our. Do you realize what you fucking did? For men. You don't even realize what you did. You're gonna wipe out everyone. Dude. Everyone's gonna die because of you. God. Day to choose a new king as our leader. Who makes a claim? Yara. I claim the salt throne. We've never had a queen. Not once. There are many things we've never done. Yara is probably the best option over anyone anyway. They conquer us. Humiliate us. And go right mm -hmm. back to possessing Humiliate us, cut right to Theon, yep. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. She's not done. Not when Balon's own male heir has returned. <sighs> he doesn't even want to be king, dude. But the fact that he's just a man, they're gonna make him king now. Like, he does. Like, Yara is definitely better off. But it's like they just don't want to have her as a queen. Defend Yara. Come on. Tell them Yara should be the one. Last living son of Balon Greyjoy. And she is your rightful ruler. Yes. Yes, Theon. We've sailed under her, and there are many of you here. Yes. You know what she is. <laughs> she is a warrior. She's the truth. She's ironborn. Yes. We will find no better leader. Yes, Theon. Love this it. is our queen. Yes. Joy. I claim I, yeah. the salt throne. This fucking guy, dude. Yeah, he killed the he killed their dad in the first place. So, it's kind of wondering where he was. See if he wondering if he was gonna show up. Well, they're just gonna pick him because he's a man. Like, Yara, Yara could be a ten times better queen slash leader, but they're just gonna pick him because he's a man. I'm glad you're here. I'm not. Now I know what my first act as queen will be. Mm-hmm. To execute the man who killed my father. Yes. Yes. But no one's gonna believe her, dude. I did. Oh. I killed him. Oh. Threw him right over a rope bridge. Oh. Knife to the throat right now. <laughs> no one loved him. No one wanted to follow him. He led us into two wars we couldn't win. I mean, he's kind of right. Oh, that would have been hard to do. You weren't here. Mm, yeah. Last I heard, you were gallivanting around the world, having a grand old time. Mm -hmm. Gallivanting? That's the sort of thing you start to say once your dick gets chopped off. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, dude. Except I'm the one who's going to build the Iron Fleet. Shut because I'm the one who knows how to use it. Shut the fuck up. And across the sea, there is a person who hates the great lords of Westeros just as much as we do. Mm. Someone with a large army, three large dragons, Mm. And no husband. I'm going to build that fleet. 
and I'm going to gallivant right over and give it to Daenerys Targaryen <laughs> along with my big cock. Yeah, good fucking luck with that. I'm not going to seduce her. The Iron Fleet will seduce her. And together we're going to take the Seven Kingdoms. Shit, imagine if Daenerys gets the fucking Ironborn too and their fucking ships. All her ships got destroyed anyway, so she might. Fuck. Fuck, alright. I guess this guy's fucking king now. Yeah, they're about to dunk him. Yep. Your servant be born again. I mean, I I wish Yara would have got it, but if he ends up being a good king and he actually knows what he's talking about and stuff, then like alright, whatever. Yes. We shall have no kin but you. Oh, are they all dipping? They all they don't wanna be here under him. Drown, let his lungs fill with sea water. Oh, wait. Let the fish eat the scale. Is this part of the ceremony? Stronger. Just enough water. Like, he's gonna wake up coughing the water out, huh? Nah, he looks dead. Wait, is this like part of their ceremony? Like they have to survive this to become a king or some shit? Oh, yep, see, okay. It's just part of the ritual. What is dead may never die. Okay, okay, I see, I see. Wow, sick crown, bro, just a fucking stick. <laughs> Imagine you're a king and your crown's just a fucking stick. Wait, no, a couple of sticks, I mean. Where are my niece and nephew? They dipped. Said, fuck you. Let's go murder them. Ah, no, please no. Please no, dude. Please don't. I'd rather not see that. I'd like, either of them, I'd rather not. Yeah, they all fucking- Oh my god, they took every ship. Oh my, they dipped the fuck out there. Damn. Go back to your homes. Chop down every tree you can find. Or build new ones. Give me a thousand ships. And I will give you this world. It's a lot to ask for, dude. What did you do now, Daenerys? You have the Dothraki. Now what? <laughs> I banished you. Twice. In, yes. In you the, came back. He came through. Yeah. You must send me away. Ah, uh, cause the, the stone men shit, yep. Oh. Is there a cure? I don't know. Uh, there was. Did... Stannis found the cure for his daughter. I'll end things before that. Damn, alright, Pedro. I'm sorry. Me too. Me too. All I've ever wanted was to serve you. Oh. He's like, let me just hit one time. I love you. Oh, I love you. I'll always love you. Oh. Goodbye, Khaleesi. Oh, he's leaving now? Damn. Do not walk away from your queen, Jorah the Andal. Yeah, where are you going? You Get back here. And you pledged yourself to me. Mm -hmm. You swore to obey my commands for the rest of your life. Yeah. I command you to heal yourself. Oh. Me yes, Jora, I command you. <laughs> Go find a fucking gear. When I take the Seven Kingdoms, I need you by my side. Ah, oh, my heart. Okay, Khaleesi's... Daenerys does look a little bit... She looks a little different. That shot, like that scene right there at first, she looked a... It looked like her, but something was different. And I couldn't tell what it is. Let me know if, like, you know what I mean. Okay, yeah, that looks like her. It was like the lighting in the last scene. Just like threw it off a bit. Silvio Onio. Oh, okay. First servant to the lower light. From the fire, she was reborn to yeah. remake the world. All right, who we got to sacrifice here? Daenerys has been sent to lead the people against the darkness. In this war, and in the great war still to come. Yep, the great war. 
This time at Winterfell. Yeah. And this time for good. We'd be most Yeah, so how do we know this shit actually works? Why should I trust you to know any more than the priestess who counsels Stannis? My friend has a healthy skepticism of religion. Well, things happen for a reason. It's what the timekeeper scripted. I'm watching Loki right now, so. If you are her true friend, you have nothing to fear from me. I don't know. I mean, Melisandre was wrong. I mean, Melisandre was right up until that last moment. She was wrong, but like still, I don't know. But I think it's interesting how she said that Khaleesi's uh, Daenerys will lead the war, and then she'll also lead victory to the Great War too. So okay, I can't wait for that. I mean, bro, we got a hundred thousand Dothraki. We have to be able to beat them at this point. If she does fight them, we have to be able to. Come on. Oh shit! What's Bran doing? He's going back in without the Raven. But then again, as the the Whites kill everyone that dies, just turns into a White. So I don't know. Maybe. Oh yeah, I totally forgot to mention that. Okay. Oh shit, he sees all of them. Yeah, that's a fat ass army, dude. They have all the wildlings as whites. Oh shit, oh shit. Can he see Bran? Oh shit, they can see him. Oh shit, Bran, get the fuck out of here right now. Oh no, no, no. Bro, that must have been a whole. Oh my god. The Night King! He saw me! He touched you. Yeah. I don't know, he was close, but. He touched you. Mm hmm. <gasps> oh. He knows you're here. He'll come for you. Fuck. But he can't get in. He can now. Fuck. His mark is on you. Yeah. You must leave, all of you. God damn it. Come. The time for what? For you to become me. Oh, okay. Am I ready? Doesn't matter, you're gonna do no. it. Oh no. <laughs> you see, you gotta do it regardless. Walkers and the south from the Boltons. Yep. If we wanna survive, we need Winterfell. And to take Winterfell, we need more men. Yep. It's a little bit of a dilemma here. Okay, okay. Going back to the scene with. The first member of the Lord of Light told Viserys that Daenerys is the one who's promised. Right, but then Melisandre said that John's the prince who's promised. I want to know more about that. Like, come on, I want to know more about that. What the fuck does she mean by that? What do you mean? What do you mean, John's a prince? What do you mean? Without question. I didn't know the Tully still had an army. My uncle, the Blackfish, has reformed it and retaken River Run. Yep. How do you know that? Baelish. Ramsay received a raven before. Ah, oh, why are you lying? Why are you lying? What, so you don't have to tell him you talk to Baelish and say that you denied his help? And my uncle has an army. We can send the Blackfish a raven. Yeah. You can't risk Ramsay intercepting it. It has to be you. Ah. Ride for River Run. My uncle will talk to you and you'll know how. We're going to make her go to River Run. I don't like leaving you here alone. Mm -hmm. With John? Not him. He seems trustworthy. He seems he is. Yes. And that wildling fellow with the beard. John isn't yeah. tormented. Torment. John. Then why did you lie to him when he asked you how you learned about River? Yeah. Yeah, so you don't have to tell them that you denied Baelish in the Vale, I'm pretty sure. God damn it, Torment. Torment. What are you doing? Bro, leave her alone. He's obsessed with her, bro. He's gonna be a simp for her. He's probably attracted to her because she can actually beat his ass. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Should we close the gate, Lord Commander? I'm not the Lord Commander. Yeah, you are. Oh, yeah, everyone's gonna be like, what do we do? Damn, what a dub for him. Such a dub. I hope he makes it out of the show, bro. I really do. Hmm. What? What? Oh. Are the White Walkers here? Are all the lights, are they here? Ah! Uh. 
fuck? Oh, oh we're, we're dead. We're all dead. Unless they choose to take us alive, we're all dead. We're all dead. They found us. That was fast. Get run and run. Yeah, I don't know if there's a point to run. I mean, you gotta try, but like, don't. Hold on. Hold on. Run! Wake up! Fuck. He's in a he's in a sequence right now, so it's like, bro. Honestly, it's not even like you need him to be awake to take him. Like, like he can't run on his own anyway. You're gonna have to carry him. You might as well have him be asleep. It doesn't matter if he's awake because he can't run. So. Ooh, ooh, damn. Let's kind of put in some work. Damn, we're gonna need some of those. Man, I did say at the beginning of the episode, what, what are the White Walkers up to in the intro? I was like, what, what's good with them? And I found out. Okay, so the Whites can't go through fire, I guess, but the White Walkers can. Okay. All right, so we're gonna need a lot of fire when the Great War comes. Bro, that's how we're gonna do it. That's how we're gonna separate them. We're gonna light a big ass fire around us so then the white walkers can go through it and then we'll just wax them. There's only four of them. We'll just wax them. John will take them all out by himself. One on one one by one. But is it something like where if all four of the white walkers die, do all the whites die too? Or do we still have to fight off them? Because that's the biggest concern I have is all the whites. Not the white walkers. I think we got them one on one. Oh fuck, they're getting through though. Ooh, that off, yes. Like, okay, obviously John, like, it, John can't take them all four on one. If he got to take them all one on one equally, he's waxing them, I, I, I feel like. Yeah. Bro, what are they gonna do? It's too late. There's nothing. What's he gonna do? Run, you have to wake up. We need Hodor. Hodor. Hodor the cat? What's Hodor gonna do? Hodor. 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 Okay. Oh god, this fucker's in here. Ah. Oh! Okay, bet. That was easy. Yeah, dude, these white walkers are trash. Bro, the whites put up more of a fight than the fucking white walkers. Summer, come! Ah, uh, no, no, not the. Not the dog! I mean the dire wolf. Why? Bro, I'm not even letting my dire wolf try and fight that. Like, I mean, it, it will listen to your command. I don't know. And are they gonna kill the three-eyed raven? What's well, good? Maybe. Leave me. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> R.I.P. I like them. R.I.P. Jesus Christ. What are you doing? Go! Yeah, sacrifice yourself. You created this bullshit. Sacrifice yourself. Give us some time. Oh yeah, just throw like a fucking five of these things. Alright, alright, but there's still more coming. Oh, no, hurry. Come on! Bro, they'll bust that door right down. What? Hold the door! You can't hold the door forever. Hold the door! Hold the door! Hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, that was Hordor in his vision right now. Who just got warged into? Okay. Hold the door! Oh, okay. Hold the door! Hold the door! Ah, uh, Hordor's gonna die, dude. No. Hold the door! Hold the door! It's why it says Hordor, okay. Is that why? Yeah, H Hordor, yeah. Hold the door! Hold the door! So he's really just saying, hold the door. Hold up! Hold up! Uh, hold up! So this, okay, this is why he only says that. Damn, okay, that's all like a little inception right there. Right? Because like, 
that moment with Brian, tell, or that moment right there of her saying, hold the door, that happens later in his life. But since Brian's like worked into the past, it affected him back then. So that's why he says, hold door. Because he's saying, hold the door. Is that, does that make any sense? It's like, it's like Inception, kind of. A little time travel. Okay, I, whatever. Okay. <sighs> All right, so that was Game of Thrones season six, episode five. First of all, R.I.P. Summer, bro. R.I.P. Summer. Oh my fucking god. So does that mean winter's here? Summer died, bro. Summer died. I guess winter is finally truly here. Okay, with the Hordor thing, saying Hordor, hold the door, right? It's like something something that happens in the last part of his life the very end of his life affected him from like i'm guessing he was probably like 15 years old when that happened to however old he ended up living so in a very early stage of his life that affected him to the very end so and that happened because bran was there warg being a warg or whatever and damn so what can bran manipulate time or something like that like what the fuck like, he can warg into the past, but I thought, like, him being there doesn't affect the past at all. Like, he's just invisible, you know? He's just a spectator, but I guess, I guess not. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We gotta go save Rob. That's what we gotta do. We gotta warg back to where Rob first... Uh, let's see, let's see. To when he first married Talisa, and then just, like, do something super small to make that not happen. You know, like, he's walking to her and just, like shove him so he goes the other way you know and then he'll be oh, okay whatever and we gotta do something to prevent him marrying talisa because then he'll he'll never have died okay okay but it, really though <sighs> damn it's like a paradox because if brains i guess if brains not there to uh, to do that it's like that would never have happened to hordor then but that happened before hordor before brand was even alive you know Hordor was like that before Bran was even born. So how could that have happened in the first place if Bran wasn't born yet to go to war back in time and have that situation happen? You know what I mean? It's a paradox. Okay. All right. Okay, I could have that entire situation completely wrong. Let me know, please. Let me know. Let me know. Like, could Hordor see what happened too? Because like his eyes, you know, turned to the war. So like, could he see himself dying in the future or something like that? Let me know. Let me know. I have like... I have a bunch of thoughts about it, but I don't know. I could be completely wrong. So instead of just saying a bunch of shit that's probably wrong, I'm just gonna go with it. I'm just gonna go with that. But R.I.P. Hordor, he he was a great character. He kind of fucked us over in some situations. You know, anytime there was uh, any conflict, he kind of would just start screaming Hordor, and it's like Hordor, we need you to not say anything. Like at the times we needed to just just be quiet and hide, he would just start saying Hordor. You know, he's scared. But besides that, he was a great character. So. Okay, one thing too, like Hordor was holding the door, you know, and fuck, I forget her name, but she was she was carrying Bran away. It's like, bro, those those whites are gonna get through that door, then they're gonna go hawk her ass down. Like she's not gonna make it more than like a hundred yards before they tear that door down and get free. Like I don't know how the fuck she makes it out of that, but we'll go with it. We'll go with it. I guess she made it out. So, but okay, so. Baelish contacted Sansa and he was like, hey, look, like, we need to talk. He was like, Sansa, and she was like, fuck you, dude. Fuck you. Like, you fucked me over so hard or whatever. Like, you saved me from monsters, sure, but then you gave me to other monsters. You know, and like what she said, basically put a little finger. He, she backed him in a corner by being like, look, you either didn't know because you're an idiot or you did know and you're my enemy. She kind of made him reveal his intentions right there. You know, like, like I, she's like, I know what you're doing, okay? He taught her well. He taught her for a very little time, but he taught her well. Okay, she sees right through what he who, what he was trying to do. And she rejected his help from the veil, which... I... Fuck, like, we need their help. But uh, it's okay. We're going to go to her brother, her half-brother at River Run, I guess, and see what's good with that. But I feel like that might just be Calf. I feel like that might be Calf by Baelish because he was like, oh, okay. Like she backed me into this corner and just threatened me. All right, I'm going to set her up right here. Maybe, maybe. I feel like Baelish is definitely the type to do that. So maybe, I don't know. All right. And then over in the Ironborn, over in the Ironborn, Yara is probably the best fit to be queen. 
you know, she's the best leader they got, but then obviously the king's brother came in, and he was like, fuck up, fuck all that, blah, blah, I'm gonna do all these things, I'm gonna go get Daenerys, I'm gonna give her this entire fleet, and then I'm gonna marry her, and we're gonna take over together, blah, blah, you know, fuck, like, I mean, she doesn't need his help, but the only, yeah, I mean, she could use his ships, she could use the ships. So she might do that, but she's not gonna fuck with you like that. Like, she's not gonna marry you, fool. Like, she's not gonna... Like, bro, at the end of the day, Dario's still fucking her. So, like, okay. Like, she'll take your help, but she's not fucking you, so... But it doesn't even matter because Theon and Yara just fucking... They dipped out. They took all the best ships. And he was like, alright, go chop down some trees. Go build me a thousand ships. Like, this is fucking Minecraft. And it's gonna take, like, a day to build all the ships. Like, bro, no. You're gonna be building these ships for, like, fucking years, probably. Yeah, like, probably years to build the ships, okay? You're gonna be stuck for a minute, alright? So he's fucking irrelevant now, alright? I wonder where they're going, though. Where, where is Yara and Theon going? Uh, Daenerys and Jorah. <sighs> Jorah tried, you know, to take the noble way out and be like, I have to go. Like, I can't, I can't serve you anymore. Like, this stone is killing me now, you know? And she was like, no, like, you promised to, co to serve me and follow my commands. Well, I command you to go find a fucking cure, you know? So that's, ah, that's love. I love that. You know, she still cares about him a lot. Like, she wants him to survive. She's like, go find a cure and don't come back until you do. But then Tyrion and Varys, whoa, they got the first member of the Lord of Light on their side now. Uh, okay. That's a, that's probably a plus if she, if it works out, you know? Like, Melisandre put in work for Stannis, so, like, she should put in some work. But let's hope she's not fucking wrong. <laughs> she did say Daenerys Targaryen will win the war and then lead us into victory in the great war too so okay i want to see it i want to see that happen you know i want to see that happen but yeah that was game of thrones season six episode five comment down below just thought about this episode down below in the comments and if you like the video like the video and thanks for watching